Hello, everybody. It is me, Gobo, back with another stream. I continue to promise I may not always know what I'm doing, but I am trying the best I can. We are back here with Stardew Valley and our continuing journey to be on a little bit of a corporate takeover because we're being a little evil this time and uh, bringing in the wonders of Joja to uh, Pelican Town and I guess so, so subsequently uh, the whole entire region of Stardew Valley. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty. Oh, we have mail. Dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I am writing you to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? Pierre. Thanks, Pierre. All right. Get to watering. I know it's going to happen at some point. I'm just going to forget to water something. I'm going to be absolutely sad. All right. How many crows have you scared away? Eight. Nice. I'm actually surprised it has such a large coverage here. I really need to figure out how much coverage it does. I know it's... I want to say it's 9x9, nine nine, but even then, if that's the case, it is covering... Well, I guess it's not covering some of these areas. I'm just kind of getting lucky. That's what it really boils down to. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I'm not getting so lucky. It says, I think I had 10. I'm not 10. I mean, uh, 12 of these. And uh, maybe one of them got eaten. Our potatoes did grow, though, so at least we have that going for us. Um, I do want to quickly apologize for yesterday's stream ending up being canceled. It was just really miserable here, and that's just not a conclusive uh, environment to stream in. Well, at least as a hobby. Like, if, if this was like, you know, what I was doing for like a job course, I'd stream, but man, that is the worst fire. Uh, well, just in terms of like smoke, just it's the worst I've seen in quite a long time in this area. Unfortunately, with it being fire season, it isn't uncommon for it to be really smoky sometimes, but that was quite the thing. And it just didn't make for a conclusive, you know, enjoyable time. No one wants to hear me coughing all the time. And, um, consistently having to mute, like, every few seconds would be probably kind of annoying. And then eventually I'd probably forget to turn it back on, which I'm always afraid of, which is why I probably underutilize the mute button. But uh, overall, things are fine. Uh, my area is safe, so there's no need to really worry about that. But man, I really do feel bad for all these areas that are on fire. It really, really sucks. Now, oh, a cutscene. Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? Oh, oh, yeah, it's because of... I... Yeah. Um. Come and get it, folks. You're 50% off. Purchase at Jojo Mart. Praise Jojo Mart. 50%? Well, any takers? Damn, man, no loyalty. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Joja Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. 
<laughs> Look, man, Pierre, in my heart of hearts, I do. Oh. I do feel bad for you, but it's nothing personal. It's just good business. All right. Kind of curious as to... Well, I need to get that anchovy just because I'm trying to get those prizes out of the box. That shouldn't take too horrendously long, hopefully. And then maybe, maybe we can go back to the mine. Um, although I'm not sure, I should be planting more stuff. Because that's going to be where a bulk of my money is going to be coming from for a hot second. So much to do. Not a lot of money to do it with right now. Alright. Come on, fishes. Let's do it. Let's tango. No? No fishes? Pouty face? Really? Sometimes this game is just rude. Oh, great. Trash. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Alrighty. Come on. Wow, the game is just being rude to me right now. Come on, what did I do to deserve this? I really just need to get that better rod. That's the problem. I just can't justify it right this second. So many other things I need to be buying. Oh, that's not even the fish I wanted. A, I guess inside my heart, I was really hopeful that was. No, no, it really was. Okay. Come on. Got a fish. Can you please be the anchovy so I can give it to Robin? Sardine. I mean, we're on the right track, but that was definitely not it. Tra -la -la -la. Come on, fish. It'll be quick, I promise. Okay. Yeah, it's really going to make me work for this. It's kind of annoying. Oh, this is a saucy fish. Unfortunately, that means it's probably not going to be what I want. Yeah, flounder. What's in the box? Oh, nice. I always love when you can get something you can donate to the museum. Alrighty. I really need to catch this anchovy just so I don't have to deal with this later. I'm so sad. I really am. Come on. I believe. I know my belief is always misplaced when it comes to these freaking fish, but there's only so many fish you can catch. All right. A herring. All right. We'll do like a couple more casts and I need to go back to uh, Pierre's and grab some seeds. Because I know he tends to meander off before five. I guess the perks of running your own business, you can just decide to close early for no re good reason. Alright. Come on. Please be fish I'm looking for. That'd be great. Yeah, this could be the last one that we're going to do. So we really can't afford the time. It's always one of the things that's so stressful about these games early on is that you feel like 
at any point in time you're you're not getting something done it's a big like hit to the overall production of what you're doing um again it's lucky in this game opposed to other farming sims that you don't have to worry about like oh if you don't do all this other stuff plus also try to like get into a relationship you're just kind of screwed that would suck so much. I'm really kind of glad they didn't go that route. Although most farming sim games have kind of moved away from that. It was very much a, like, 90s to early 2000s farming sim. Or farm life type thing. It's definitely not something I enjoyed. It was very stressful. Oh, great. Okay, well... Time to buy some seeds. What seeds are we gonna buy? That's a great question. So, kale is more. So, I guess I'll do that. Um. You know what? We'll grab 18. I know that's a lot, but with any luck, we'll get some good returns. I mean, we'll get returns regardless, but any, you know, silver or gold stars, even though that's pretty rare when you don't uh, fertilize the ground, it will be uh, beneficial in the long run. All right. Okay. Water this. Yeah, as much as I don't want to do it, I may have to go back out and try to just fish more because um, I prefer not to have to deal with that in the next day. It's just not something that would be advantageous. Okay. All this stuff. I probably should keep the clay. Keep the clay. Um, my geodes. I'll put this up. Okay. I guess I'll put the bait up too. Um. Should hold on to those. Do I have any more? Yeah, I can put more into the furnace. Just need to keep making this so I can start upgrading those tools. Honestly, right now would be the best time to upgrade my, uh, like, something like my hoe. Although I'm going to probably, now kind of thinking about it in in the moment, I'll probably hold off on that and either, I'm, I'm probably going to do the pickaxe first. Pickaxe, axe, um, maybe hoe the next time I have some downtime. I know these berries don't sell for, like, all that much, but, I mean, it's free money, so I'm, I should be trying to get them when I see them. Okay. Oh, nice. Field snack. I love it when they've been uh, warming in the trash a little. Who needs a microwave when you have a trash can? All right. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. I'm actually going to stick to this side to try to get the frickin' uh, anchovy. Maybe this side's a little more lucky. Hey, bro. How's the fish? Oh, they're pretty good, bro. You're not going to catch any anchovies because uh, RNG hates you. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Uh... All right. Come on. Let's do it. Please. Ugh. Any other time, it would be first, first cast. But uh, since I need it, it's like, nah, we're not going to give it to you now. Typical. Really typical. 
Okay, there I am. Oh, I really want the box. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, holy crap. I almost beefed that. Yeah, there's no reason I should have rebounded from that. That's wild. Okay. Another herring. What's in the box? I already got that. Okay. It's not the end of the world. We should be able to get in a few more decent casts before we have to saunter on back to bed. Not the most productive day of uh, Stardew Valley, but you know, they can't all be winners. Like, I've seen some people that have, like, the most ridiculous amount of, like, productive days, just day in and day out in the game. I'm like, man, I don't know how you do that. Like, you just have to know how to mid-max the everything crap out of the game. And I feel like at that point, it's kind of not enjoyable, in my opinion. Because there, there are definitely some people who have broken down this, uh, this genre to a science. And I don't think they'll ever be me, even though I'm very familiar with the formula at this point. I just want to enjoy, enjoy the game. I don't necessarily enjoy the fishing parts of these games, but it's fine. Okay. Robin may be at the, the bar, so let's see. She, she sometimes shows up at the bar before the week is out. Okay. That's Leah. For some reason, I always mistake her and Robin. I don't know why. All right. Well, the museum's gonna be closed, so we can't do anything with that. Um, I think I'll go downwards and try to see if I can grab more of these uh salmon berries. Also, I am trying to uh, get better at moving my cursor off the screen. I had noticed when I was watching back some of my stuff that I consistently have it in the screen, in the middle of the screen when I'm not doing anything. Um, I'm just one of those people that enjoy to play this game with mouse and keyboard. I know there are a lot of people that prefer uh, controller. But yeah, I, I had noticed that. That has to be really annoying. We're definitely endeavoring to do better. All right. Do, 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 do. You know, there's a perk you can get at some point where you can get like double berries. I think that's from just getting your foraging up, which, as I've mentioned before, will take an absolute freaking lifetime. Man, it is dark as balls out here. I'm glad these things like kind of are bright in the darkness. Never freaking see them. Alright. Also just kind of going out of the way to get them now because I feel like I'm going to spend some time in the mines next. So... Get the free money. I think I'm gonna upgrade my axe tomorrow. I should have. Oh, I definitely will have enough money. I know that's kind of uh, a small side thing, since I'm really should be focusing on the mine carts. But again, we have to kind of balance what's going to be the best thing to do in any one moment. I definitely feel like. That's going to be it. I don't look at Shane. What do you want? Go away. Oh, thanks, bro. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to turn in these fish and then get into bed. Oh, crap. I didn't watch the, the TV either. All right. We should still probably be able to do that. Save the anchovy. That's that's okay. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. What do you gotta tell me, television? Weather report. Beautiful sunshiny day. What's the weather? Okay, what's let's go tell me. 
Neutral. Well, no wonder my luck was so kind of awful. Man, you see that? My dog's trying to keep me in bed. Okay, farming level three. Watering can proficiency. Hoe proficiency. We can now make the bee house and uh, speed grow and farmer's lunch. Yeah, that's also another thing I have to do. I need to upgrade the house so I can get the kitchen. Oh, baby. All right. Wow, why do I keep getting Queen of Sauce reruns? I know there's a lot of recipes you can get from them. Weather report. It's going to be a beautiful, clear, sunshiny day. Okay. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are somewhat mildly per perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Fan. Fantastic. Dear Gopoke, it's been so long since I've heard from you, dear. Things are the same as ever back home. Miss you very much. Love, Mom. Yes, found an envelope with some money Grandpa left for you. Thanks, Grandpa. Okay, take these. Um, that. Oh, nice, they're green bands. Uh, what's not nice is I'm gonna have to put them in my own bin because Pierre doesn't freaking work on Wednesday. Which is, uh, unfortunate. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know you're there, dog. Calm down. Do 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 do. do. Oh, it looks like our uh, cauliflowers out. I'm getting close to producing, so that'll be nice. Because those are big money makers, considering how long they take to uh, produce. Right. I really need to get sp uh, some sort of sprinkler thing, so I'm not having to deal with this myself. That'll be so nice. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be in a situation where I'm going to have uh, the iron to do that for a bit. So I just, just had hit the iron level Z in the mine. So I think that starts at 40. Maybe it starts at 30. But um, yeah, that's going to take quite a bit. Wow. Wow. All right. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, you know what it probably is? It's the water dish, isn't it? I think that put water in there? I don't know. Alright. Off to Clint's and then to the mine. Oh, nice. Got ourselves some uh, leaks. Grab that. Any amount of free food that I can use in the mine is always good. Since uh, buying field snacks or anything from like the bar would uh, really put me in a bad place. All right. Hopefully we get some good stuff. Da, 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 da. Hey, Clint. Uh, upgrade our tools. So we're going to do that to the copper axe. Process our geodes. Please give me some good stuff. At this point, there's really so many things I can get, so if I don't get a lot, I'll be very sad. 
Alright. Nice. I feel like we got a lot of good stuff. Yeah, most of those I don't have. Alright. Oh, nice. Another filled snack. Okay. Let's get over here where this kid tries to judge me. Okay. Now they're going to meet up with Penny. Uh, donate to the museum. Here. Um, set up there. So that makes me want that over there. Nice new reward. What is the reward? Oh, it's a painting. Alright. Now we can sell this other crap. To Clint. Did I turn this in before? Yeah, there you go. Alright. Cool. And then you should be able to hit up Robin unless she, uh, pieces out before I get over there. Uh, Abigail. It's funny. If I was going down Abigail, uh, Abigail's route, uh, I'd probably never see her, because I, like, never would see her when I'd be like, oh, I'll go do Abigail's thing. It's funny how that works. All right. Cool. Oh yeah, I need to get crap tomorrow. Crap. Ugh, I should have kept that one thing. She probably would have liked that gem. But yeah, it's always funny when you're trying to go down a certain route and the character just is off somewhere. It's gotta be a, like a, a name for that. Like, it's gotta be a, a name phenomenon for how common I see other people comment that they have the same problem. Alright. Okay, we got a bat. I'll fight it. Come hither, bat. Nice. We'll pick up this quartz. This part of. It's like, why can't I move? Because there's freaking stones on both sides of you, that's why. Really? Okay. Saucy slime. Freaking sentient coal dust. Alright. I should probably eat this. Cool, cool, cool. Well, there's really a lot of quartz in here, and it's wild. Alright. I'm not gonna say no, though. Wow, that is a lot of freaking slimes. There's just a random set of stones over here. Alright. Anything else? No. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, cave carrots. Cool. Nice. And we increase our mining. Take that freaking fortune saying my day was going to be garbage. What do you say about all of this stuff? Hmm? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's got to be a new thing for just random crap to be on the ground, because that definitely wasn't a thing in the past. Well, like, the stones and stuff were, but, uh... Like, the frozen tear, but, like, random, like, ore and rocks, no. It's kind of neat. Because, I mean, that would be the kind of stuff you would find in a cave, just randomly on the ground. It doesn't necessarily have to be in stone. Alright. Come hither, boy! Ow. Okay. Still looking for an exit. Cool. Come on, please don't make me break every freaking stone down here. That'll make me so sad. Since I need to upgrade my pickaxe to actually one break these rocks. Alright. Definitely feel like they've added some more ambient noise to here, too. Like it used to just be like the whirling, but you can hear like howling and stuff. Alright. Come on. Why oh, you gotta be this way, game? It's really making me work for this. I just want to get to floor 45. I don't feel like that's asking too much. Oops. Guess the game disagrees with me. HP energy get back for eating there. Eh, it's actually a pretty decent amount of energy. Oh, finally. Jeez. Literally thought I was gonna have to break every freaking stone. Bad enough I had to break as many as I did. up, but at least we noticed it was there. Okay. Oh, nice. Need to remember I need to store those up since they actually have some sort of value. Alright. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We have amethyst down here. This really makes me wish I had the bigger bag. Alright. Oh, delightful. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. I know there's some stuff I left in there, but I kind of don't feel bad for it. Given I didn't want to deal with those bats. Alright, eat no more of these. So we can accomplish before we have to head back in a couple seconds. Oh, nice. Hopefully, there'll be something worthwhile in here. Alright. Cool. Let's see if there's any iron over here, and then we'll start heading back. Definitely gonna invest my early iron into the sprinklers. Wow, that's a lot of freaking iron. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be mining that. We're gonna have to eat 
probably the rest of these to get all of that. Okay. Wow, four out of that one? That's wild. This is definitely gonna benefit us quite a bit. Bat show up. Please die, slime. Oh my god. Next door scroll two. I don't think we have that. Come on. Man, it's gonna have me fight a bazillion bats. Come on. Any other time, it'd just be one. Sending every freaking bat at me. <sighs> Wait, it's it's because it's because of my luck. I know it. This is one of those the the those luck things. Where it's like, haha, your luck is garbage, bro. It's like, yeah, unfortunately it is. All right. Saw another one over here. Can I? Grab that, nice. Okay, yeah, I guess there was only that one. You know. Uh, oh god, we're gonna be pushing it to get back. This is gonna suck. Alright. Come on, move, move your tiny legs a little faster, my man. Leave the mine. That's definitely what I wish I had the frickin' minecart i'd already be back at the house basically now we need to go this way all right doo, 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 doo. moving back one-handedly so i can get a little sip of water all righty yes i know it's one Jeez. I need to get my crap into the box, too. Alright. Gotta turn some of these in. I actually probably shouldn't be selling the quartz, honestly. Alright. Cool, cool. That was actually fairly productive. Uh, mining, level three. Uh, pickaxe proficiency, one. New cooking recipe, miner's treat. Nice. Eh, we made some money. Okay. Oh, nice. Turn all those in. Save that. We're gonna put that in there. Okay, cool. We can sell these cauliflowers. We won't be able to plant new ones, so. We're gonna have to be satisfied with what we get out of it. I guess I probably should just plant more kale at this point, since that will definitely be the better cost-efficient thing. I mean, overall, in the future, I'd like to have a variety of things versus just grow one thing. I know if you're mid-maxing, you're just like, I gotta grow the best thing ever! Necessarily concerned about that. Okay. Let's 
never feel that bowl when I'm playing, so that's like, oof. Friggin' poor dog is just dehydrated every time I play this game. I didn't mean it, doggo! Just really, really dumb sometimes. Paper. Okay. I definitely don't want to be fishing. Welcome to Pierre. Nice. That was a decent amount of money. Okay. Twelve of those. We'll save that when we come back from the mine. Oh yeah, here's tomorrow. Uh, I guess I'll give her a frozen tear. I plan to. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. Awesome. Howdy there. Um, yeah, this is actually a really, really good game. Um, after playing Elden Ring, I really wanted to play a game that kind of was very chill. And this game had been on my uh, back burner to revisit. Yeah, I didn't go to the museum. Oops. It's fine. We still have a lot of room. All right. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> Sentient coal. Alright. Is there any iron in here? The answer is no. Alright. Okie dokie. Pretty sure I mentioned this last time. Uh, this song very much reminds me of FTL. Ah, oh, yeah, I have, I have heard of that game. I just, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the funds to buy it at the moment. So it's definitely on my radar. And it could be something I'll I'll play in the future on stream. Alright. Also yeah, Elden Ring is a really good game. I just streamed it. Uh, over the course of a couple of months for like over 100 hours so I'm kind of be I'm kind of glad to be done with it All right. come on bat ah. this bat 
bat is. Freaking naughty bat. Alright, anything good up here? No. Come on, where's the iron? You don't ask for much. being stingy on the iron. Okay. It's also going to make me work for get getting down here. Okay. There's some iron. Oh, and the way down. You know, I was always kind of uh, big into From Software games prior to Elden Ring, so it's kind of natural that I'd like Elden Ring. Um, Elden Ring definitely put From Soft on a lot of people's radars in comparison to their previous titles, though. Which I wouldn't say were niche, but they definitely were a lot more for just certain types of people. Yeah, far, 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 farm life games aren't for everyone, but I generally feel like if you've liked one, you'll mostly like all of them. They're not all the same. But, um... They definitely have some cross-pollination. Uh, definitely with Stardew Valley is, uh what kind of put the genre back on the map since it kind of had fallen off because uh, Harvest Moon wasn't in a great place and Rune Factory was kind of uh, not turning out the greatest games. Um, I generally have a soft spot for like the uh, first few Harvest Moon games. Um, but definitely I liked it. I liked it when we started getting, um, the Rune Factory games, which is kind of more how this game is, kind of. It's not one-to-one -one the same, obviously, but I definitely prefer this formula t more to the... Harvest Moon formula, which was basically just farm, farm, farm. Uh, uh, engage in the social stuff. And if you don't engage in the social stuff early enough, you kind of get screwed over on that, which was kind of always stressful to me. All right, Tundra Boots. Man, I have like no room anymore. I guess I can get rid of these seeds. Should probably keep those. Start heading back. All right. 
right. You know, there'll always be people that'll, uh, you know, for every person they'll say, oh, this is the best thing to happen to the genre. Um, there'll be someone that'll be like, oh, it's the worst thing that's happened. But, I mean, that's just kind of how it is with every game, honestly. You're never going to make a game that's going to appeal to every single person. If you could, that'd actually be fairly impressive. Everything. Nice. And I guess I'll keep the mixed seeds. That should keep one of these out for uh, Maru. That, 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 that. Uh, that in there. Do I want to keep the leather boots? That's a great question. Eh, I probably shouldn't. Get rid of that. Oh, I can't sell them in the box. Go figure. Get rid of the amethyst. Dog, why are you in front of the television? It feels very rude. It looks like you're kicking the dog. Sunshine. Oh. Very lucky. Nice. That wasn't the most productive day, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right. If I ever go poke, I have a quest for you. I need a fresh cauliflower, a recipe. Can you bring me one? Great. Uh, yeah, I've never played that those games, so I really don't have a, a opinion one way or the other. I do know there are a lot of people obsessed with it, though. necessarily go back to the mine. I guess I could. More, more water. Oh yeah, it was nice talking to you too. Um, have a good one yourself.
Alrighty. Can't believe it freaking gave me a thing for cauliflower after I sold my cauliflower. That is just rude. So freaking sad. Oh well. You know what? I think I will upgrade my my pick and just avoid the mine for right now. Ah oh, crap, I actually don't have the copper for it. Never mind. Traveling merchant generally has cauliflower. Ugh. I guess I'll be staying in our quest log for a while. Actually, maybe Pierre sells some. I know he does occasionally sell some random stuff. Oh, nice. A bloodletting to buy that, but you know, hey, whatever. Classes. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, I need to go to Gunther. What's up, Gunther? That there, there, there. I actually should put that there. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, another painting. All right. She's in her house. She's trying to escape me. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. I guess I won't loot those trash cans at the moment. them giving me the eye. Alright, I actually need to pick up my, uh, my axe. Actually, I think they may have shortened how long it takes stuff to be upgraded. Does it actually indicate that to me here? It says a few days. So maybe not. Hmm. Alright. I'm definitely hoping before I end for today I can unlock the minecarts. Um I think we're making pretty decent progress to get there. We'll just have to play it by ear. I guess I should pick up something at the Star Drop Saloon. Um, guess I can buy a couple salads. Don't want to buy too many. Hopefully I can run into Maru. She may not be at the house anymore though. 
she does tend to stick around where she lives, so here's hoping. Alrighty. Oh, yep, she's here. Nice. Very nice. A super gift. Hey, sorry if I seem cranky. I'm a little sore from work yesterday. Okay. Actually, what's our heart progress on here? So we have one heart. I actually have more hearts of Robin. I guess just because I've done quests for her. It's all good, Linus. Alright. You always feel bad when you interact with Linus. It's like, why why he gotta be treated this way? Alright. Uh oh. We're, we're we're getting the spoopies now. Freaking weapon. I really do. That's combat upgrade. Nice. Oh, great. Bad o'clock. Yeah, gold ore. Wow. I do love how I was like, oh, I'm going to keep my cursor out of the middle of my screen when I'm not using it, but I feel like I haven't been doing that great of a job. So I do apologize if that has been the case. Alright. I really despise these enemies that when you hit them, they like fly off the freaking screen. Like, I get it from a gameplay standpoint, but like, I just want to hit the enemy. Not knock it off to where I can't hit it. Alright. Just a random bat there. Oof. Okay. Uh, one of these big open areas, my favorite. Usually can get really lucky at finding the way down or really unlucky. usually a metric crap ton of enemies in here. Alright. Get out of here. Freaking coal demons. Please be in the center. Made my life so much easier. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Once we get to the fire level, I think that's going to be where things are going to get a little too much for my current weapon. Ah, great. Freaking great. Can it only be like one bat, please? No. It's going to be every bat. It's gonna be a real battle. <laughs> uh, right. There we go. Nice. That could have been worse, I guess. And for all the upgrades I need to do, I definitely. Oh my god. Yeah, we're definitely leaving now. Dwarf 
scroll. At least we can get some money out of that. That. All right. Wonder if I can actually get the floor sixty before I run out of time. Guess it's really gonna depend on how lucky I get. I don't know why I didn't pick that up. Sometimes I feel like the the pickup radius of this game is wild. Alright. Over here. Darn. I was hoping that would spawn the the way down. It did not. Exhausted, I think not. Right. Check over. Nope, nothing over there. Nice. Oh, there's a way down right there. Hmm. I have to be very conservative of how I'm gonna go through these floors just to make sure I can get to 60. Let's see if there's anything over here, and yeah, we're not gonna deal with that. A chub frenzy has begun in the mountains. I can't access the mountains. This is one of those ones where I actually have to kill all the monsters to progress. Great. I guess killing one of these could spawn the exit. In theory. These freaking ghosts. Come on. Freaking ridiculous. Why did that ghost just suddenly, like, teleport a million miles away? Alright. Please die, thank you. I got to get really lucky to get to floor 60, considering I had to. I'm having to completely clear this floor. Oh my goodness, there's still so many freaking monsters. Man, I am so sad right now. There's still so many monsters. I have to make a judgment call if I want to head back after I get to this floor. Or just end up passing out in the mines to try to get the 60. Alright. I think the exit will appear. Yeah, right over here. Is this really the spiral? It's really, it really did this to me. Wow. Oof. Yeah, I don't think I'll make it back, but um, I guess we'll endeavor to try. Yeah, if I had to have the minecart unlocked, it wouldn't have been really a problem. So we're not going to get any stamina back. I actually know I'm not I'm thinking about it. I think it goes to half. And that's about it. 
really sucks. Rip. Also, you'll lose some money. Combat level three. Five, five additional HP roots platter. All right. Oh, it did go all the way back up. I guess what do I know? Or maybe they changed that. Spears are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. We we need every bit of luck we can get. Welcome. It's gonna be clear and sunny. Nice. It's gonna be the game judging me. No, oh, Linus. Thanks, Linus. Again, Linus is a bro. And no one can convince me otherwise. Oh crap, I want some of those. Um or or those either. That's so much crap I just need to keep at this point. Um Yeah, probably would help if I actually had the copper ore in the proper place. Right. Got more grain beans. Luckily, copper doesn't take particularly long to to make in comparison to some of the late game stuff like gold and um, what is that iridium? Whatever the purple ingot is called. I think it's Iridium. So much watering. And definitely before the next season starts, I'm gonna have a couple sprinklers. I'll make my life so much easier. Any amount of time that I'm not spending watering or whatever is going to be spent making money somewhere else. Probably dealing with the animals that I need to also work on getting. Right. Cool, cool, cool. We'll upgrade our pick. I don't think I can break the the big stumps, but I think I can break the tiny ones now, so maybe I'll do that. shells we can pick up. Now that I need seaweed, I wonder how much of a pain in the butt it's going to be to actually get any. We'll try a bit before we have to head off the clint. Wait, no, oh, see, we were right there. I mean, I don't have to have to fish at all. Fantastic. 
That's definitely got to be something else they've added, because I don't remember Seaweed just randomly being up on the beach. Even though that is a thing that happens in real life. Since I have been to plenty of beaches when I was a, a wee baby boy. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know why I took this weird meandering way to get over to Clint's, but whatever. It's fine. Got anything in the trash over here? No. fishing rod. So now that I don't have my pick, I'm kind of limited to what I can do. We'll, we'll see if uh, What's-His-Face is over here so I can sell these seashells to him. You never know. He's like, sometimes never here. No, nope, he's not there. Fantastic. Great, great, great. <laughs> I guess I'll chop down some trees and stuff. All right. Wait for those guys to go in. Up. That was interesting. Heck yeah. This makes no sense, but whatever. Hush, Shane, I don't need you to judge me. Wow, he's fishing over here. All right, bro. You do you. Wild horseradish. Yeah, I still don't think I can break this one big thing. Yeah, that requires like the 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 the. The iron. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. It's fine. Cut down these uh, trees elsewhere. Just, we will definitely need a metric crap ton of wood. One thing that will consistently throughout this whole entire playthrough be something and I will consistently well I'll be struggling with a lot. Alright. I'm really glad they made the decision for these random trees to just regrow every season because if they didn't, man. That sucks so much. Also, should be trying to collect these wild berries. Where are you, wild berries? I know you respawn fairly decently. Uh, I say that, and now I'm not seeing a single one. Go figure. Pick that up. Clay. Great. Alright. Do these count as foraging? Um, maybe? Okay, what do I want to get rid of? Mm. Alright. Okay. 
I'm going to assume those count as foraging. It'd be kind of wild if it didn't. Wow, there's a lot of them. We're getting... Crazy. Okay. I got all of those. Definitely need to head into our base, sell, put some of the stuff in the box, uh, try to break some of those bigger. Um, trees. Because I'm pretty sure I can break the stumps now. I don't think that's an iron thing. Guess we'll find out in a second, won't we? Yeah, I can break the stumps. Nice. Ah, yeah, I don't have room. Uh... Yeah, hardwood is definitely going to be a... Finite resource, which is could be oh so fun because there's so many things that require hardwood as well, and you just don't get a lot of it. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We got that all situated. I'm thinking on these little teeny islands, that's where I'm going to build, like, the barns or, like, the coops. I feel like that would be a smart idea. So much stuff to get rid of. Yeah, they, they say they're foraging, so... I'm assuming they count. Alright, get rid of this stuff. Oh yeah, I also need to put that hat in there so I don't have that taking up space either. Alright, we'll go check around for some more foraging. Maybe go to the guild so I can get rid of these boots. Oh, there's some random salmon sal berries. Alright. I think these boost Linus's friendship. Is he around? Uh, no. Alright. Maybe I'll catch him on the way back. Greetings. Alright. Damage does this do? Yeah, I'm gonna need stuff like the more expensive things. Probably the like a Templar blade versus any of this other stuff. And that'll definitely be something I deal with way later. out on Emily. She'll already be in her house, so I'll hit her up in the morning. I wonder if Linus is in his tent. There he is. Here we go. I'm happy by myself, you know. I mean, he does have a pretty sna snazzy tent, I'm not gonna lie. Interesting. I think that's like a, a, a new animal type that comes scurrying around. I don't remember that being a thing before. Alright, I think that's all we can accomplish right now. Yeah, it's sunshine. Okay. Take a victory sip of water. <sighs> nice. 
Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Spring 21. Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, radish salad. There's nothing like a fresh, peppery radish. It reminds me of the late spring. My mother would slice up our fresh radishes and serve them on grainy bread with a little salt and pepper. Ah, those were the days, but I digress. Now watch closely. Okay, what's the weather gonna be tomorrow? It's gonna be a clear, sunshiny day. Spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Fantastic. All right. Processing more of this. Copper. Up. Oh, that's not the furnace. Alright. Nope. Oh. Alright. Can I harvest that yet? No. Oh, I was growing more cauliflowers. Derp. And oh, nice strawberries. These will sell for a crap ton since it's a a special thing. All right. Really wish you could kind of walk through these ones that are on these trellises. Out. And out of water. It's gonna be so hard to upgrade my watering can. Well, I guess once I I, I get the the sprinklers, not so much. I definitely need to start preparing for that now. I think it's just one to one. Let's see. Yeah, it's one to one. Okay. Or adjacent. Um, so I'm assuming that's like a four by four that'll do it. Not to test it out. Also, yes, I don't know how to water. It's fine. I'm not gonna be using this stamina for much of anything else without my pickaxe anyways. Yep. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I sold the seaweed. No, I'm a freaking doofus. I'm such a goob. I really am. Um, you it smells. Ooh, why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. What child wants to go into the sewers? That's how you get eaten by a clown. I think Gunther has the key. Master Gunther? The man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big, rusty old key. Zoinks! Hmm. 
There's something moving in there. Well, there's nothing moving in here, guys. Get sucked in. Game over. <laughs> That'd be wild. Alright. Oh, yeah, he... I guess the traveling merchant does show up whenever. Alright. Fortunately, there's really nothing I can... buy. Or really want to buy at the moment. I can't believe I sold the seaweed. Such a goob. Man, and that would have been my ticket. Ugh. Can't believe it. This worse is no. I actually can't believe it. That's the problem. Alright. There's Penny. Maybe there'll be some on the beach again, and that'd be nice. But I have a feeling I probably ended up uh, screwing myself over. Which saddens my soul ever so slightly, but... I guess there's worse things to fail. fail. So, I guess I can try to catch some real quick. Got a little time. Da -ba -da -ba -ba. Come on, fish. Or, I guess seaweed. I guess I can catch the fish since I'm here. There's no reason to be like, oh, the fish, I'm not going to catch this. That'd be kind of dumb. Alrighty. Come on. It's gonna give me nothing but fish now. Alright. Sardine. At least it didn't instantly give me an anchovy like that of what I said earlier. That would have been really a moksha. It would have been all brand, but it would have been obnoxious. Alright. It's just really not going to give me any seaweed. Okay. It's fine. We'll do, like, this cast and one other, and then I gotta sell this stuff. Really don't have time to play around with it. Alright. Please, seaweed. <sighs> of course not. Alright. And the Fisher dude doesn't sell seaweed. So... At least I don't think he does. Assuming he's even there, since he likes to go off and fish a whole bunch. I guess we can go check. Why not? Da -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, fisherman. There's Elliot. Oh, he's actually here. Amazing. Yeah, he doesn't sell. Freaking. Oh well. I'm actually gonna buy that. Um this sells for anything, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Alright. It'll help me out for when I do need to fish. Even though it really this <laughs> One of those situations where it's like, I'm really not making any ground on getting this frickin' minecart. Which I definitely need to be doing. ASAP. 
I can't get to the mountains. Stop telling me about them, please. Chocha Cola. Oh, I can get that done. Alright. Fantastic. That was what, Haley? Yeah, Haley. Hmm. Okay. Don't know why she can't just buy a can of soda herself. But, um, we can get that done. Definitely. Alright. Also, yeah, that one cutscene from earlier, I think, is an indication that if you keep donating yourself to Gunther, that I think he eventually gives you the key as a reward. Charge seventy five money for that. Friggin' bloodletting. All right. Where would Haley even be right now? There's Maru. What's up, girl? Hi. Do you have fun working on the farm? Yes. Well, that's good, isn't it? There's Emily. Hi, Gopo. I think this is her house. Yeah, she's not even there, though. She tends to be all freaking over the uh, place, so I have no idea where she'd be at the moment. Just guess I'm gonna have to get lucky and run into her. Uh, will be interesting, I guess. Maybe she's up here. Oh, that's Caroline. I think I'm just going to relax and think positively. That's a good mindset to have. Alright. I do love how they kind of like half ass that warehouse. Kind of funny. I guess we'll get some foraging done. And hope maybe when we circle back around we can run into Haley. Not super optimistic that'll happen, but you know. Stranger things. back around, I guess I'll fill that up. Everything is watered. Just making sure, because you never know. Surprise I've been as good as I have been on getting everything watered. Probably either be the summer It'll probably be the summer where I end up messing it up. I have a feeling. Wow, I really didn't run into her. I don't think she'll be in the bar. Yeah, because I think only on uh, Fridays she ever shows up at the bar. Oh, there she is. Nice. Oh, we got our gotcha ticket. To Lewis's! I don't remember what we're going to get out of there, but I need it. Alright. Good evening. Uh, that's like what? Peace tree? Yeah. 
What in the world are some of these? I guess that's just like a, a mystery box. All right. Clint's going to go get a drink. You know, and after his long day of hammering out freaking metal, he deserves it. Okay, let's see if we can forage anything. I'm actually surprised at how kind of lacking the, the, the berries have been. Because generally, I feel like there was a lot of them, but I've looted some and they just haven't really been coming back. Hmm. Well, we got more spring onions we can grab. I guess on our way back we can uh, break a few more of those big logs or stumps. Not logs, we can't break those yet. Which would be the only reason to really upgrade my my axe quicker. Alright. Really being stingy on the foraging. Not a fan of them doing that to me. Alrighty. Oh, that's a horseradish. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Speaking of horseradish, I learned something interesting recently that I guess most wasabi is just horseradish kind of like spiced up a bit. Because I guess wasabi is actually really, really hard to make. Or grow. Like it takes for freaking ever. It's kind of disappointing because I mean, I would generally say before that, I would have said, like, oh, I really like wasabi, but uh, I guess I probably never had the real thing. Well, I guess knowing is half the battle, so I can just go out of my way to eventually have it. clear this out and probably put my barn. I feel like the barn would fit on here. Alrighty. Get these little tiny trees before they spring up. to get this one. Cool. Nice. Okay. Store this stuff in here. I'll save that. Guess we'll grab that. Why not? Um, probably put some more in. Cool. I think we'll do like two more days and that's probably where I'm gonna have to put a pin in it for today. Um, what in the world? That's... Interesting mystery boxes can now be found. Very interesting. Now, they definitely have added a bunch of just random stuff. I, I don't hate it. That adds a lot of spice to a game that, I mean, it had a lot of spice before, but they've definitely, like, I remember when I played this game when it came out, they've added infinitely more spice. Okay, farming level four. 
ordering camp proficiency plus one, ho proficiency plus one, new crafting recipe, which is iron fence, uh, preserved jars, and base retaining soil. We also got fishing, which gives us a recycling machine, which lets us uh, turn junk into random stuff of the worm bin and deluxe bait. I think that's actually a new thing because I don't remember that. Wow, we got foraging too. Um, it's axe proficiency, berry harvesting, gets us the tapper, the mushroom log, and wild seeds for summer. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And I think our, our, our pickaxe should be ready now. Yep. Cool. Weather report. It's going to be raining all day tomorrow. Okay. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll find you'll have a little extra luck. Cool. Let's live in off the land, I'll tell us. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Get your hands on a fishing pole and sell your catch. Fishing is a great way to make a little extra cash when you have some downtime. The distance your bobber land, lands from any dry land determines what kind of fish you'll hook, as well as location, season, and time of day, and weather. Oh, I know that, so. Oh! Hey, Demetrius. Hi, good book. I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on lo the local environment. I'll spell you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave you have over in the cliffs? Well, I have a way to t turn it into something useful for both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment and you can har harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. I prefer mushrooms, honestly. All right, I'll go set it up for you right now. Shouldn't it take any time at all? Thanks for letting me do this. Thanks, bro. A true MVP amongst men. watering on I'm trying to think of what I can actually plant before the month's over with so we're gonna have a little time all right cool 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 Harvest this, so I feel like the only thing that would uh grow in six days would be potatoes. I don't think kale. Maybe kale's the one that grows in six days. Cool, cool. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. It's wild how much longer the iron bar takes to make versus uh, the copper bar. Like, I could have made like three copper bars in the time it makes to make a single iron. Oh yeah, the book guy is here. Alrighty. Newspaper. Hmm. Penny's already reading. Man, where's all the good stuff? 
Where's some trash bread? Okay. Oh yeah, it's a new week, so I need to be mindful of giving Maru some stuff. Alright. Then I guess we'll go to the mines, why not? I don't see any reason not to go there, especially since I need stuff to go to tomorrow. Since I don't want to give her all my quartz, since quartz is, uh... It's... And... Let see the copper pickaxe. Here's a real question. And there's just... No, yeah, those are just there as, like, a window dressing. Okay. That's about it. That would have been wild. There's just a couple ores in there you could break. It's, like, definitely not something that would make sense, but you never know. Game logic isn't always something that makes sense. season my buns yeah they they definitely must have adjusted how often they spawn because I definitely remember them being a lot more frequent oh well All right. at least we can break rocks a little faster It's very great for when it makes me work for the way down like it was doing just there. Oh, crap. What is a, a nightmare in here? Also, I guess when you get hit by the ghost, it actually does teleport away. I thought it was just, like, being glitchy, but no. Alright. Yeah, I'll way down. Sick. This ghost. Come on, man. This main area. Maybe take a peek see over here. Oh yeah, I need to pick up this job. Nice. Assuming we don't find any lower tier gems, we'll give that tomorrow. It's very convenient that since she's a sciencey person, you can just give her any rock, really. Slime. It is kind of unfortunate you can't get slime eggs before you have the the slime press building. Um, I feel like that would make sense, but I guess maybe maybe they thought that'd be too too unfair and also kind of bloat your inventory. It takes a freaking lifetime to actually get to where you can have the the slime building. Come on, slow freaking ghost. Let's 
fling has like a bazillion HP. I actually think it has like 200. It's just my weapon is garbage. <laughs> Should be like two or three more half. Oh, I guess not. Alright. I'm gonna drop this bomb over here. Boom. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Bat, come over here, Bat. Oof, I feel a freaking sneeze coming. Uh, yep. <coughs> Ugh. Ugh. That was a bit of a nasty one. Yeah, screw the spiral. I ain't gonna stick in there. Ooh, um, dagger. Cause that's like that's stabby. It's actually not gonna be great. Yeah, if memory serves our correct places. Yeah, that's not good. Rip. All right. A single bat. Oh, combat boots. Heck yeah. Um, get rid of that since it's just bloating my inventory. I wonder if I can reasonably get the 65. I probably can. I feel like it'd be wild if I ended up not being able to. I'd get really unlucky. There's a ghost. Great. Great, great, great. Alright. Cave carrot. Oof. Need my salad. Come on, ghosts. Probably wouldn't be so bad if you didn't, like, yeet the ghost in the next friggin' zip code when you hit it. But, uh, that's definitely what you do. And this sword doesn't even really have knockback on it, I don't think. Maybe it does. No. Alright. Oh my god, so many slimes. Regret everything. Maybe one of these will spawn the way down. That'd be nice. Spoilers, they did not. Alright. You're really gonna make me work for this. Alright. It's fine. Can one of you spawn the exit? Thank you. This should work out pretty well. Yeah, just the way down right there. And we'll we'll comb this floor pretty well. Um, I didn't buy new new stuff to plant. I just I just realized that. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be 
lost gains unless I buy speed grow, which I don't really feel like is going to be worth it, honestly. Okay, let's see if there's anything right here. There's good stuff, but man, do not have the room for any of it. Want the shade? There we go. Okay, let's get the sixty-five and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, then we'll definitely do one more day, and I feel like that's going to, unfortunately, be where we're going to have to put a pin in it for now. We're not going to have accomplished um, getting the minecart thing unlocked, but um, it is what it is. I'm not going to get too upset about it. I guess I can give uh, Linus a cave carrot. Why not? So I feel like if you get his friendship up, he's more likely to be the one that rescues you versus someone else. I may be wrong. Not necessarily. Gonna not level him up. It just feels wrong to be mean to him. Alrighty. This is more or less all useful stuff. I need to put it in my my chest. Alright. Um Actually, I think I do need eventually to have a frozen tear, so I'll just hold on to that. I'm not gonna... I'll save the jade. Right. Now we're cooking with gas. Mining level four. Pickaxe proficiency one. Transmute iron glowstone ring. Okay, cool. Day 23. Almost a quarter of the way through the year. Weather. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Flower Dance Festival. The event will take place in the forest starting between 9 and 2. Okay. Uh, fortune teller. Spirits are very displeased today. They'll do their best to make your life difficult. Great. It is uh, our pleasure to inform you. Your farm will be featured on next week's up and coming column of Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations. We're impressed with your quick progress. Yeah, I know about the, the flower downs. All right. Oh, crap. I don't want to eat the cake, all right? Okay. Have all that sorted. Guess I'll get back to breaking more of these. Debating if I want to go into the mine again or not. I mean, there is stuff I need to do around the farm that I can do. I got to check how much it's going to take to make the, the barn, because I definitely want to try to do that before the season 
changes. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, though. Mystery box. I'm wondering what can actually be in this. Can it just be anything? Oh, they're like geodes. Interesting. Man. Rip like all those resources. Okay. Got that all cleared out. Cool, cool, cool. Luckily, Pierre's gonna actually be in his place, so we'll be able to get uh, more or less everything sorted before that event, which we'll leave for next time. Don't want to stress out too much. Less than 9,000 away from being able to get the minecart. I think even if I hadn't spent all that money, I wouldn't. Well, I'd be close, but I definitely probably wouldn't get it this time. All right. Let's see what's in this mystery box. Oh, interesting. So they can be, like, seeds. I mean, I can't plant those seeds right now, but, uh... That could be useful in the future, huh? Alright. I'm assuming you can get those from, like... Uh, fishing, too. Um, chopping down trees. Probably also farming. Of course, I don't have anything to... Cultivate. And of course, I can't sell anything here, so. I guess I should go to back to Pierre's and see what, if anything, I can plant at this point. I, I think I may have uh, made a big oopsie by not planting yesterday. But, you know, we live with our mistakes, so it's fine. Okay. Doop -a -doop -doop -doop. Six days. Six days. Uh, four days. So, yeah, I guess I can plant some parsnips. Why not? I mean, it's not the most ideal thing to be planting. Okay, let's see if I can find Maru. I'm hoping that she's actually in her house. Which is usually, again, as I've mentioned in the past, a pretty safe bet. Of course, I say that, and she's not freaking here. Oh, she's in her freaking room. Great. Let me in! Right. I guess I'll go to the guild, dude, to sell those shoes, and then come back. And hopefully she'll not be in her room anymore. Da -ba -da -ba -ba. You should be open now, right? Two? Man. Whatever. 
I've always been curious as to what that weird no, it's just supposed to be when it's raining. Sure, there's like an obvious answer. I just don't. I don't know what it is. I thought maybe there'd be something secret in there. I guess not. Um. Okay, cool. She's not in there anymore. This is super good. Thank you. Hi, did you sell fresh a fresh potato to the general store the other day? I think I bought it. Still just one heart. Alright. I don't think that's changed anything. Nope. Okay, we'll go back to the the guild hall place. I definitely want what little money I'll give to me for it. Need a new sword? I do, but I ain't investing money into it. Okay. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Oh yeah, I need to check it, uh, Robins to see how much a barn costs, since I need a kind of ruminate on how I want to do that in the future. Which I'm not sure will be next time, but maybe the time after that, we'll see. So house upgrade is 10,000 money. Oof. Yeah. We'll get to that eventually. Um, that isn't too bad for a coop. A uh, barn is 6,000. It really depends on how lucky I am, I guess. I'll have to play it by ear. Because, yeah, I could get that, like, right now if I neglected getting the minecart upgrade, but I definitely need to do that. Like, hands down, that's one of the more useful early game ones, in my opinion. Anyways. Rice shoots. Definitely gonna need to make a a new chest. Stick that in there. Be gone, rice shoots. Jeez. Okay. Go down this way. I guess we can do some foraging for the days out, and that's probably going to be all we're going to be able to accomplish. Still can't believe I haven't met this wizard yet. Should be able to get in here now. You have nothing important to tell me. Leave me be. I have much work to do. Well, thanks, bro. I'll leave you if you're extremely Zelda sounding music. All right. I should be able to meander around here and then maybe make it to the beach and then back home. Man, I really wish foraging wasn't so booty to level. Okay. I don't want your hats, little mouse man. I'm wearing the best hat. Truly the greatest hat of all times. And no one can convince me otherwise. 
Let's see if we have any more spring onions we can grab. So let's say tender. Yep. generally don't realize how long these days last when you're not doing super busy work. I don't want to eat the stream again. Oh, heck yeah, trash bread. My favorite. Who needs dipping sauce when you have the, the nice damp texture of it being festering or garbage? Alright. No shells on this side. I see that one shell that occasionally pops up. I need to save one of those. I think you need one of those later on. And they are generally fairly rare. Okay. We can loop up that one way and then back around to the to the base. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Anything over here? No. Not. Right. I don't actually think there's a reason to go over there. Now that I'm thinking about, because I sh I went through there when I was originally heading back into the the town. Um, not the town, but um, the farm. Yeah. Up there is anything in here? No. Cool, cool, cool. Guess we can break a few more random things around this place. Since they are indeed everywhere. tree ended up having stuff fall in there. This one's definitely have like every single thing it drops fall into the water. My wood! Absolutely disgusting. Oh yeah, I need to check in that cave now since I should be getting... How does it expect you to get any of that stuff that fell over there? That's kind of obnoxious. Interesting. I don't think this is how this used to be. I think I think originally there was just mushrooms that spawned in the cave. I think if there's like an item that makes you have a higher uh, pickup radius. I don't feel like there is. Which will just make those items sit there until the season changes, which is kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. No. Oh, those rocks can stay there, it's fine.
No tiny trees, thank you. Yeah, I've definitely gotten really bad at <laughs> moving the cursor out of the way. Uh, I do apologize. But uh, I mentioned that so early on that I was going to do that, and then it definitely, definitely wasn't doing that. I'm going to get better as time goes on. I'm fairly certain. All right. Sleep. Cool, cool, cool. Weeds? Come on now. Just kind of glancing out here. Well, at least it didn't screw up my, uh, my crops. Alright. Yeah, we definitely probably wouldn't have made it, even if I hadn't spent all that money. But, um, we'll probably get it next time, definitely. Alright, exit to the title. Well, as I mentioned, that's where we're going to have to wrap it up for today, unfortunately. Um, we did get a lot done. Um, it's always one of those things where uh, getting anything do done in this game, it's always very small things that collectively are building to, to big goals. So Sometimes it'll feel like, oh, I didn't really you know, get anything accomplished. But with the hindsight of having played games like this before, and definitely, definitely making some progress. So, very happy about that. Um, as for announcements, I don't really have any announcements to make outside of that. Um, I don't think anything's going to disrupt the rest of my streaming schedule. Uh, God willing, I don't think the fire is going to be a problem outside of just the air quality being really not great. Um, Luckily for our area, it's um, kind of not coming this way anymore. Um, it's not fortunate for the other places that that puts in danger, unfortunately. But um, yeah, that shouldn't end up interrupting my stream anymore, hopefully. So, yeah. Outside of that, we're just going to continue on with this game. Um, I feel like at the pace we're going, it will probably definitely be like four to six weeks probably and then we'll move on to something else which I mean I'm not even thinking about what that's going to be at the moment um, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there because right now I'm just kind of enjoying a nice light game and uh, Star Stardew Valley is just very much that comfy game it's very familiar very very nostalgic for me so yeah Outside of that, I want to thank everyone who tuned to this uh, as live. I want to thank everyone who tuned to this VOD, whether that be on Twitch or on YouTube. As always, I'm doing this as a hobby. Uh, constructive criticism is always welcome. If you liked it, tell me why. If you didn't like it, tell me why. You can send me that feedback here on Twitch, which I know a lot of people tend to do versus anywhere else. Um, I'm always listening. I'm trying to always improve. And um, again, I've been doing this for a little over a year now, and I feel like... I want to believe that I'm a lot better than I was then. So, yeah. Anyways, keep myself from rambling. Uh, I am going to say farewell for now. For, for, well, for to now. For uh, today. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day, everyone. And I will catch you in the next stream. Bye-bye.